Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to be talking about the mind of an 18 year old girl. So I graduated high school from Alba High School and honestly, when I tell you being 18, I feel like I am transitioning to becoming an adult, which I totally am. And you totally are. If you're 18, if you graduated early or later or how are you doing? I just want to know that. Congratulations, number two. And if you're still in high school, then keep on going. You got this. Get that diploma, baby. Get it. And if you don't have it, you are still loved. You still matter. And everything will work out. God's world, anything will work out. So, being 18 years old, how do I feel? So, I'm going to college to uh, Aberystwyth in the UK. And I am getting... I just got my visa today. Hallelujah! <laughs> anyway, I got my visa today, which was amazing. But I'm honestly feeling, like, really good. It's interesting because I feel like I... All my friends are going through different periods of life. Going to USC or UCLA or also uh, taking a gap year, which is like... I, I tell this to my friend, I'll tell this again. People who take a gap year, I think, are a bit stronger than people going to college just because you have to figure out what to do. And if you know me, you know I love to take, stay persistent. I love, and I just feel like I will go crazy. Like, if I'm being, like, honest, like, these four days or whatever, me just waiting until going to college, I've been itching at the skin. <laughs> you know what I mean? My mom can vouch for it. But um, honestly, being an 18-year-old girl, I feel like I've been trying to conquer the fear of anxiety and also, like, not trying to super pre-plan for the pre -plan for a future. If you don't know if you don't know me or if you do know me, I am a person that likes to have things planned for the next day, for the next month, for the next year. I love having plans. I love being able to go out. I love being able to support my friends or do fun things or perform. I'm a singer-actress. I'm going to be studying musical, musical theater and film. So if you know me or if you don't know me, hi, how are you? I just love um, all those things. But I feel like at 18 years old, it's so interesting seeing all my friends doing these different parts of life. I have this friend who's a ballerina. She's going to be pursuing dance. I have other friends. She moved to Texas pursuing that. I have other friends who, you know, people that I know that, you know, went to NYU or are going to um, college in Dublin or just, just around the world. And it's so interesting how, like, you're in this bubble in high school and it feels like, like, you have to prove, prove things to people or you have to keep up to date, you know. In high school, I did musical theater. I did choir. I tried mock trial as well. I did um, dance team as well. And I love those things. I feel like those things have helped me come have great relationships with friends. Um, also express myself in such a beautiful way, which I really appreciate it. But um, I feel like when you get outside that bubble and you graduate, it's like, well, like, not your bubble is burst, but you have to, you're like what is going on like you have to figure out something else and like some people you know they figure out that you know they do want to go to college or they don't want to go to college and then they don't know what college they want to go to if i'm being completely honest like the whole couple of months i was scratching my head being like where do i go oh my gosh panicking 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 like what do i do like who am i like what's going on and i feel like the god has really told me to go to europe and just to see how that is, just at least try. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But I feel like as an 18 year old where we have this vision when we're younger, like, oh, everything's together. Like, we're complete adults. Like, I, as an 18 year old I have never had my first kiss. I have never smoked. I have never drank. Which is great, you know? And um, it's just like, you think about a lot of these things that, like, a lot of people do or you're expected to do or pressures of society that you need to do. And I still feel like I'm 13 years old. Like, I still like Barbie and My Little Pony. And don't clock me because I know you do it too. Okay? But anyway, I, being an 18 year old girl, it's such an interesting, like, I think 18 being is such an interest, interesting period to be because when you're 17, you're like, mm, still feeling 16, still feeling young, still feeling like, okay, it's junior year, living your life, figuring out your true friends, your friend groups, or just trying to, like, just live thrive like just be yourself like i know 17 was a great year for me going to concerts seeing people and being 18 i mean i just turned 18 this july so it's just like i feel like 18 is such a huge transition it's like figuring out who you are figuring out your friends figuring out new friends letting go trying things again relearning who you are as a person trying to fix yourself for your faults try 
and I feel like when I graduated, I had some really good conversations with people or just with myself, just being like, whoa, like, this is what life really is. Like, I feel like I kind of realized that, like, I can literally do anything. I could go and get a puppy. I can go travel around the world. I could delete all my social media. I could come back in two years. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could go away from your hometown. You could stay in your hometown. Like, there's so many things that you could do as a person. I feel like when you turn 18, you realize, like, how much power you have in your own life. How much, like, persistence. And, like, one thing that I'm so excited is to live through that. You know, if you know my mama, you know me, we are gung-ho. But this, like, these couple days have been like, oh, it's time for me to move on. And it's time for her to move on and spread my wings. And I'm super excited. And at this point in my head, like, when I go on the airplane, I know there's going to be a drop in my stomach of excitement and also fear because of the new and, like, I'm so ready, you know. I just feel like the unknown is such a scary thing. Like, if you go to college in the UK, if you go to college in your hometown, if you go to college wherever the unknown is so um real and i feel like i am a very extroverted person if you can't tell online but i really love like just anything fun anything exciting anything amazing i want to be a part of like you know i don't want to miss out i think the fearing of missing out for anyway if you're extrovert or introvert it's such a real thing you don't want to miss out you want to be in these relationships and you want to stay close to these people and you want to make new relationships you want to have fun you want to live your own life I feel like the power of living your own life is honestly just like like just starting today and just continuing. For example, like when I, I've been here for maybe two weeks, I'm going, I'm leaving like next week for Europe. And the first week or two, first week I was like doing good just because I was just saying hi and kind of like saying bye to people in a sense, which is oh, so sad. But like I was doing dance classes and all that stuff. And honestly, that really has helped me rebuild my confidence. Um, this is another topic of being 18, but if you don't know, um, who you are or what you're trying to do and you feel like you're kind of floating in the air, really figure out, like, why. Like, what is your passion? Why do you want to do this? I started dancing again, honestly, for myself to feel, to make myself feel good because I was like, you know what? I can do this. Like, no one can get in my way. I'm not getting in my own way. So I started dancing at, um, Playground. Dexter Carr, shout out to him. He's amazing. If you're a beginner and you just want some confidence or you're, if you're even advanced and you want some confidence or you're in between, you're intermediate and you just want to get your confidence back with dancing, perfect class. It really helped, motivated myself to just really like do it. But, but back to the topic of being 18. I feel like when you're 18 and you're trying to figure out everything out, it's like it's a transition of where you'll meet your longtime friends, where you might meet your potential partner. Um, your boyfriend, you will, you'll like, literally just like, make your career like what is good. I feel like college. I always thought of college just like oh like uh, but then now being eighteen, I'm like wait, college is basically like high school. It's just like mer merging that gap of like transitioning to being an actual adult, which is so true. And I feel like college is so helpful. And if you can go to college, please go to college. If you don't want to, then that's Baby girl, baby girl, do your own thing. I honestly encourage anyone, especially actors. I was originally homeschooled until the junior senior year. I really recommend if you are an actress, if you love people, if you just want community, I really recommend high school. I would really re recommend college because I think if you're an active person, I think college is a great way for you to continue your life without waiting for your career. Like this is off topic to 18 year olds who are actresses or who are in that field. Do not wait for, I mean, yes, wait for your career, but also have a life while you wait for your career. I don't, I would not recommend doing both. I just, oopsie, my phone's 10%, baby. It's just super, it's a lot. But, um, that is my mind of being an 18 year old. I feel like I'm just rambling, but honestly, that is what 18 year old is. I feel like also to all the 18 year olds who don't have a driver's license, I feel you. I feel you. But I will be getting it soon. Hopefully. But um yeah, I feel like as 18 year old you're supposed you're supposed to, as an 18 year old, you're supposed to feel so grown up and mature. But honestly, you're just you're just becoming who you are, like genuinely. Like I feel like and I wanna say to all the 18 year olds, if you have them, if you have whatever or not, like 
just try not to give up on yourself and try not to be too old too quick i feel like society says like you need to be so grown by the time you're like literally 13 especially our generation like gen z i feel like it's about being grown and doing this and having multiple boyfriends and doing that and you know like i just want to pray away just negative things that society put upon you like um i'm gonna be for real suicide thoughts addiction smoking having sex you know drinking um uh pornography i just want to pray all those things away from you because those are worldly things that even zodiac sign i know some of my friends who are super into it i was gonna be honest like people who just 100 percent believe in that and believe that that's all their faults like i just rebuke those negative things because those are not true if you are christian or if you're not christian on my channel i am christian i'm very vocal about that i now granted you know, I'm still a young Christian, so I make mistakes all the time. So do not cluck on me. Anyway, but I, I would love to, like, let you know that God is here for you. If you heard the gospel of the world, word of not, I want you to know that God is still here for you. And he loves you and he appreciates you. And you are valued. And, yeah, that's a whole different story. But just saying, like, I don't want the pressures of the world to make you feel like i feel like it's such big 18 year olds like the pressure of the world make you feel like you have to do this or you have to be like this because you honestly don't and you have time and you're 18 and honestly being 18 and trying to figure out what you want to do and what you want to be is a perfect age but um yeah i'm just rambling but honestly this is like the best thing i'm gonna name this the thoughts of an 18 year old or like whatever something like that but I just love these. I want to do more style videos like this. Let me know if you want me to. But, like, I feel like as us 18-year-olds, we are just trying to figure out life and college and work. Oh, my goodness. Like, I don't even know about the money side, but I'm sure I'll know soon. Hopefully in a good way. But I just want to let you know that God, like, just God loves you. And also, I think the biggest thing being an 18-year-old is having confidence in yourself confidence i think confidence can fool anybody except jesus i think confidence is such a big thing i think having confidence within who you are not even like what you love what physical things you have just having confidence that you do add value you do bring something to the table you can, are a good friend you are a good daughter you are a good you know sister you can um you offer something if that is becoming a singer or an actress or, if, or any entertainment business is that is like just wanting to be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer like you have value and you um bring something to the table and i think honestly that's what's most important is to know that you have value and you are important but yeah this is my talk if you made this far girl hallelujah thank you darling if you did it we still love you and yes i love you guys comment if you will subscribe if you will and i'll see you next time bye Mwah.